Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix iPhone screen or display not turning on during a phone call. When you are on a phone call, once the display is off, when you try to press the power button on the side or when you tap on the display to wake up the screen so that you can access any applications, some users after the recent software updates on different iPhone models, the problem is not specific to a particular model, are experiencing this strange problem. And in this episode, I'm going to suggest you four troubleshooting steps that you have to try one by one. For some people, the second step may be working. For some people, the fourth step may be working. The very first troubleshooting shooting step is go to settings app and then navigate to accessibility and then tap on touch and scroll down a little bit to see prevent lock to end call. This is a newly introduced feature in iOS 16 which will help you to the call to be terminated when you press the power button once you know when airpods is connected by default we can press the power button and the call won't be disconnected but when you're not connected with any bluetooth headphones or headphones then when you press the power button the call will immediately get disconnected to prevent that we can toggle this feature on so try turning it on or off and then check while on the phone call when you press the power button whether you are able to access the home screen or still the problem continues or not if the problem continues then you can try the next troubleshooting step which is performing all settings reset navigate to settings application and then general and scroll down a little bit and you can access transfer or reset iphone and there tap on reset then perform reset all settings this will not delete any data this will perform only reset of any settings changes and if due to the recent update if there is any problem happening with your iphone that is preventing the iphone screen or display to turn on then performing all settings reset will help us fix the problem and the next important troubleshooting step is checking the proximity sensor if there are any accidents recently happened and the top section of your iphone got hit by any chance then the proximity sensor hardware level failure could have happened in such cases it is important to check whether the proximity sensor sensor is working perfectly or not when you're on call you can simply place your finger at the top section on the face id system area and if the display goes off and when you remove the hand if the display comes back on the proximity sensor is perfectly working fine as you can see on the screen that both my iphone 12 and iphone 14 plus are working perfectly when i close that proximity sensor area during the phone call that it shows that it is perfectly working when you place your phone on the ear then the display goes off when you take it out Way, the display turns back on so this way we can be sure that the proximity sensor is working perfectly and the next important settings change you need to do is navigate back to the accessibility settings touch you can enable tap to wake function this feature is available in iphone 10 and above models so if you're using one such iphone compatible model then you can use this tap to wake feature where you can simply tap on the screen once to turn on the display and another important reason is in scenarios like where the app bubbles formed inside the temper glasses or screen protectors that could also result in poor proximity sensor performance so even if you take it to apple service center they will immediately remove the temper glass or screen protector that they are wearing so that they can diagnose and check whether the screen protector is causing the problem or not so do try removing it and then try to make a phone call and then see whether the proximity sensor is working or not and i hope you are not wearing any expensive screen protectors this one I am using Cesar Tech brand which comes around 299 rupees or less than 300 rupees for me. So here you can see after you know a short period of usage I got the air bubbles. For, with my last temper glass I got almost one year plus before I see any air bubbles in the temper glass. So it is important to remove the temper glass or screen protector and check for the proximity sensor performance and we have covered most topics related to iphone and ipad related problems if you have any questions feel free to search our channel and you may find the solutions faster and the last troubleshooting step performing an ios restore you need to connect your iphone with itunes or if you're using mac computer then you can do the ios restore via the finder application access the summary section of your iphone take a full backup of your device and then you can perform the ios 
restore. If your iPhone is under warranty or you're not sure about how to perform the iOS restore, it is recommended to visit the Apple Service Center so they will be able to do it for you and do the proper diagnosis that even if your proximity sensor is normally working and you have tried the previous troubleshooting steps, then you can visit the service center to check for any hardware problems. They will run a diagnosis using their softwares and that will be helpful to identify whether there is any problem with the software or hardware. I hope these tips helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks. Thank you and have a wonderful day.